Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back with another video. Today's video is going to be on uh, what I talked about on my other videos. Uh, some scale wipers and scale hardware. Um, I was on the old interweb the other day there playing around and uh, I had bought these gimmick wipers before. Here. The real gimmick wipers. And these here I got from Hong Kong. They, they're pretty cool, you know, if you're into super scale stuff. But I kind of um, redid my idea because I already put these on my trail finder too, and they work pretty cool. Um, the, uh, I was, like I say, surfing on the web, and I found a place. It's called JS Scale. Okay, they're in France. And they have these tiny, tiny scale, <laughs> real-life windshield wipers. I'll pick these up here, give you a, a close-up look at them. You can see they're all metal, and they have a kind of a rubber flange on the end there. And... Uh, Oh, and they do fold up now what comes in the kit is two wipers you can get them in black or silver I got silver and uh, inside the kit is your hardware bag and you see there's some super tiny little springs in there couple of really tiny nuts and bolts now these were actually made for um, uh, I guess your Lexan bodies and all that stuff I retrofitted them to my hard body um, so with the gimmick wipers what comes in the kit is you have two gear boxes here one's a gearbox one's a follower you got a little motor in there and then they got the Tamiya 7.2 volt plug-in and uh, the wiring comes with directions and everything um, they give you an adapter kind of like a shotgun adapter brackets that you can pretty much retrofit them to your you know hard body or Lexan body or whatever and um, then they give you some plastic wiper blades to put in there well you see where I'm going with this already I'm probably not going to use the plastic wiper blades um, and what holds them on is this just basically long shaft here that slides down inside the um, that hole right there okay and the cool thing is the hole comes out top and bottom it goes completely through you can see so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to retrofit kind of a long um, bolt and put them through that little hole right there and have the real wipers working with the uh, the gimmick wiper electric motor set and um, so that's that's uh, if you're into the super scale thing and all that, I, I looked underneath the uh, the body housing of the RC four wheel drive Blazer, and it's tight under there between the dash and the uh, um, you know the cow panel, I should say, where the wipers come through. You got some things in the way, like the uh, where the windshield bolts on is right next to one of the holes for the wipers, but. I think I might be able to pull it off. Um, like I say, I'll probably. Um, I wanted to put them on the blazer. That was my plan, and because um, my my next build is going to be another blazer with a a Tamiya Bruiser frame. Now the other thing I wanted to get to closes up. They give you a really nice case too, and uh, and the shipping was really fast on this. 
you can get these in Hong Kong okay they're about 18 bucks um, I got them from I guess say JS scale uh, thanks Sophie for hooking me up quickly um, these things came like super fast in my house I couldn't believe how fast they came um, and really I just had to sign for them but um, like I say getting back to the super scale thing that's you know they're gonna be tight to put on the RC four wheel drive blazer body but I'm gonna attempt it and another thing I wanted to touch base with you guys see over here I got some screws here you know these are three millimeter by six um, screws you know and uh, or bolts see the, they actually have a a hex on them they're a hex bolt so these are 5.5 millimeter they come in um, six millimeter eight millimeter long uh, 10 12 16 I think 20 I think don't quote me on that but um, I got these on eBay I just searched uh, three millimeter uh, acorn nut is what I was looking for which I found and um, and at the same time I found the three millimeter lock nuts you get a hundred of them in a bag for about six bucks and uh, some more there and I got four millimeter ones too because that's what most of your axle nuts are four millimeter this is what I was looking for here was the these are three millimeter acorn nuts and um, if anybody's into the scale thing you know on your 2.2 wheels these look like uh, you know you put these on there for lug nuts and those those of you guys that are into the the semi trucks the earth movers or the uh, uh, military vehicles with the 2.2 wheels uh, those those are pretty cool lug nuts you just you know retrofit a, um, a set screw three millimeter set screw in there and put them on or you can what I do is I just cut off a long three millimeter um, screw and put it in there and thread them in so so that's the uh, thing on that now I what I was gonna do is I was gonna change all the hardware on my bruiser frame now you can see here I started on the back there I put two of them in and you know some of the places are gonna be tight you can see there they look pretty cool on there they're they're pretty scale you know, when you look under there, you don't see a Phillips screw or, a, you know, an, an Allen head screw sticking out. They're going to be kind of tight for the shock towers here. So, you might have to come up with something a little different on that. But, as far as the rest of them, though, I know we're not going to have a problem putting them in. And, uh, like I say, it's just another, you know, another avenue if you're into the super scale thing. And, uh when I get the wipers done I'll do another video on that so anywho that's my video there for that so like share subscribe if you want to tell your friends um, you know keep on with the with the builds I'm getting some guys out there I like to do a lot of scratch building stuff and a lot of guys restoring things now and you know it's just like you know thanks for all the support I appreciate it I, I do all this on my own and you know the like I say the mind's a terrible thing to waste so if I can pass something on to you guys for an idea or show you how I did something then that makes me feel good so anywho this is Denny I'm signing out adios